Welcome to my lecture online. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we add capacitors when they're connected in series. But before we do that, let's go back and review what we saw in the previous video. In the previous video, we added capacitors when they're hooked up in parallel. And we realized that it's as if we're adding the areas of the capacitors together because they are in parallel and two charges that will either go to this area or to this area so that the total capacitance or equivalent capacitance is simply a function of adding the areas of the capacitors together. At least that's the concept when we're adding capacitors in parallel. Since the capacitance is equal to K, which is the dielectric constant times epsilon sub naught times A over D, we realize that the capacitance is proportional to the area, so therefore when we add capacitor in parallel together, it's like adding their areas, and therefore the total capacitance is simply equal to the algebraic sum of the two capacitors. But when we're taking a look at capacitors in series, it's a little bit different. It is as, it is as if we're adding the distances or the distance between the plates together. So we have capacitance 1 that has distance 1 and capacitance 2 that has distance 2. Then the sum of the two capacitors is as if we're adding the distance between the plates together. So we're simply moving the plates out farther that the total distance or equivalent distance is simply the sum of the two distances. And since the capacitance is equal to K epsilon sub naught times A over D, we can see here that the capacitance is proportional to the inverse of the distance. So therefore, when we want to add capacitors together, capacitors together that are in series, we have to add the inverse of the capacitance. So 1 over the capacitance total, or 1 over the capacitance equivalent, is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. That's provided there's two capacitors. If there's more than two capacitors, the equation becomes 1 over C total is simply equal to 1 over C plus 1 over C2, plus 1 over C3, and so forth. Now, if there's only two capacitors, there's a handy equation to use. Instead of using this equation, we're going to add these two up by finding the common denominator, which is, so what we do here is we, we multiply 1 over C1 by C2 over C2, and we multiply 1 over C2 by C1 over C1, so now we have a common denominator of C1 and C2, and in the numerator we get C1 plus C2, then if we take the inverse, we get the equation we call the product over the sum equation, that the total capacitance is simply equal to the product over the sum of the two capacitors. And again, that's only if there's two. If there's more than two, then you're out of luck, and you have to use this equation right here. So now you can see that the reason why, when capacitors are in parallel, we can simply add the capacitors together to get the total or equivalent capacitance, but if they're in series, then we have to add the inverse of the capacitances. So 1 over C total equals 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2, or we could use a product over the sum equation. And so now you know what to do with capacitors when you want to find the equivalent or total capacitance when they're connected in parallel or when they're connected in series. And of course, later on, we'll show you some videos of how to add or how to find the total capacitance or equivalent capacitance when there's a combination of parallel and series connections. But we'll wait till we get there. Here, this is the basics on how to add capacitors.